Hello and welcome to the Precision Project. Today we're at the Manatee Gun Club outside of beautiful Mayaca City, Florida. And with me is Matt Delora from Tactical Rifles. Now during today's segment we're going to talk about natural point of aim and the importance of establishing a natural point of aim. Matt's going to go ahead and get down behind the rifle. He's going to shoulder it comfortably. Now natural point of aim is essentially aligning your skeletal frame with the rifle in the direction of your target. What you want to do is you want to actually have your skeleton versus your muscles lined up on there. Now to establish his natural point of aim, what Matt's going to do is he's going to aim in on his target. Are you aimed in, Matt? Yes. Okay, go ahead, close your eyes, take a deep breath, relax, blow it out. Now open your eyes back up. Now, he, are you on target? Yes. He's on target. Now, if he was not on target, what he would do is he would shift his hips a little bit left or a little bit right until he's there, and then he would repeat that same process. You want to keep your elbows in place. The reason is because if you move your elbows, if you move your shoulders, what you're doing is you're inducing muscle tension into the gun. Now, muscle tension, A, it is not repeatable. What I mean by that is if you induce muscle tension into the rifle, you take a shot, you come back, your muscles aren't in the same place. Now when you're using your bone support, you can always repeat that and that gives you consistency. When people are shooting a precision rifle and they want to remain on target, and especially if you have to remain on target for a long point of time, if you're taking a long, long shot, you may be dealing with wind and other factors and you might be behind that rifle for quite a while. If you're shouldering it and if you put tension in your neck and your shoulder, what will happen is eventually your shoulders will get, your shoulder muscles will get tired, your neck will get a crick in it, and you end up fighting against your own rifle, and that's not what you want to be. In a good, now, are you in a good, comfortable position, Matt? Yes. If you're in a good, comfortable, natural point of aim position, you can stay in that position for a good long time, and that way you're not, as, rather than worrying about tension or muscles or yourself shaking, you can worry about making that perfect shot. Once we have established our natural point of aim, we can build upon that and we can move on to unsupported positions such as prone, sitting, kneeling, and standing. So for the Precision Project, if you're looking for a precise, well-built rifle, go to tacticalrifles.net.